Hasta el Vista de la Peña es from Mexicali. En Space Walker is pure San Jose, California. Thank you, San Jose, for making me who I am. And I'm here to tell you and to teach you something about the history of the 90s and what happened right here in San Jose, California. And this is my story. Uh, hopefully, you understand it. Back in the 90s, we have this uh, nightclub uh, that we used to call Studio 47. They turned like uh, for the kids, they, they used to be 16, you know, and all uh, between 18 and under, you can go and dance. Mm. The, the era, they nobody talk about it. They is from Hollywood Gentian, the group, Fun House, Body Shop. If you come to San Jose, you didn't go to those places, you don't understand what we have and the diversity, the uh, styles besides uh, hip hop, or popping and breaking or locking. Then we had the greasers, we had the housers, we had the rebels, we had the divas. Uh, name it, the Hollywood Gentian, you used to go, it used to be packed. I mean, you used to go to Hollywood. I, I don't care. Hollywood Gentian, it was on, it was and older people, but it was more young people. All those young cats brought the 80s back. I don't know how they did it, but even the clothes, the fashion, the divas, and the dancers. Yeah, I remember the greasers, they used to go and, and do all this kind of move, and the rebel, like all like uh, Grease Vaseline, and Grease, that movie from with John Travolta. I'm 50 years old, so for me, it was a great moment to be 30 years old and be up there with these young cats and see the transition and the innovation and the evolution, evolution of dancing that they did and contribute to the culture and hip hop and, and house music and, and everything. That transition, you know, is, is being last. We understand that um, the 90s, it was something very beautiful and important for me because that's when the raves come alive, the house music come alive, that transition be between hip hop and techno and from techno to house. So a lot of people don't know about it because we just focus on one side of the coin, but this is the other side of the coin and I'm here to remind all those dancers that used to go in the circle and dance for the love of the dance and don't care about nobody. It was a beautiful moment because after 20 years, since the late 70s, early 80s, it happened again that we had the whole family together and just go and dance and show your fashion style and your skills moves. But you know, we here and doing something for the community, the, we love it and we put in the history right back where it's supposed to be that nobody wants to talk about it. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you the truth. My truth of my life.